Hi guys, my name is Anna Maria and you're all very welcome to my channel. Many people ask me about the current situation with the Irish economy during this 2020 crisis and in this video I want to talk about unemployment, about some future predictions and about the job market in Ireland and what can happen during the 2020 crisis. So if this is interesting for you, please keep watching this video. Let me start with the fact that it is very difficult to make some certain predictions and tell you exactly what's going to happen with the Irish economy and with the global economy in general. Even experts can't say anything about that because we do not know how the current situation is going to evolve, so we just have to wait and see what's going to happen. But based on the current situation and what we have right now, we can make certain predictions and we can see some numbers. So what's gonna happen and what's already happening, many people will cut down their expenses. So that means that people will spend less money, especially if, let's say, one of their, their family members has been made redundant and they cannot work and they cannot bring any income into the family. Many families, many companies, many businesses have to make an audit of their expenses and cut down of all the unnecessary stuff. This means that the export levels will fall, this means that there will be less money circulation in the Irish economy and on the planet in general. Now let's get into the unemployment rate. So according to the Irish Times, in November 2019 the unemployment rate was 4.9%. According to the same website, the unemployment rate in March 2020 was 5%. Only 0.1% difference. It's very strange, isn't it? Like, we have a global crisis and there is no unemployment? Okay, so let me tell you what's actually happening. It is true, according to the legislation, there is not much unemployment, there are loads of people listed in the company's books as employed, but they don't do any job because they cannot perform their job considering the fact that many businesses have been shut down. And those people, which are 16.5%, they do receive the COVID-19 adjustment unemployment payment. So that means that 16.5% people in Ireland, they have no job to do, they just receive some payment and some help from the government. So the actual unemployment rate is 16.5%. It is expected that by early summer the unemployment rate will be up to 25%, which means that a fourth of the population in Ireland will have no job. This sounds like really terrifying and it sounds really bad. So that means that those people who do, will not have a job, they will apply for a job seeker payment. So the government will have to support them with money as long as they do not have a job. And that means that those people who will be working, they might have to pay more taxes so the government has money to support the unemployed people. Obviously, it's not certain. We have to see what's going to happen, but we all can expect the increase of taxes from the next year. The central bank predicts that that even though the unemployment rate will go up to 25% in summer, it will go down to 12.5% by the end of the year. So the unemployment rate will adjust. Also, according to the Irish examiner, the government in Ireland believes that 3.5 billion euro will help to support the costs for a 12-week support program for up to 800,000 people who may lose their jobs. Now let's talk a bit about the job market. So it is expected that that workers in construction, retail, accommodation and food services will lose their jobs first. And again, it means that the atmosphere will get very competitive, so employers will look only for the best people, for people with the best skills, because many people out there with really good skills will be looking for jobs. And if you imagine yourself being an employer, who would you hire? Obviously, you would hire the person who has the best skills, the best experience, who is the best for the job. So that means that we all have to work on our skills and to become better, better and again better. I know that many people want to move to Ireland to work here, but I would suggest waiting a little bit to see what's the situation in Ireland, because if the unemployment rate will go up to 25%, it's going to be really difficult for you to find a job. Because imagine that you come to Ireland and you don't know the culture, you don't know the language properly, you don't know what's happening here, you have no experience in here, 
and you will have less chances to be hired compared to people who are natives or people who are already living here for a really long time and they know the culture, they know the language really well. So obviously those people will be much more preferred by the employers. That's why I would suggest waiting a little bit to see what's the situation here. And if you can find a job online before you come to Ireland, that will be ideal. So you know that you definitely have a job. In terms of rent prices, it looks like rent prices can stay at the same level or even can go a bit lower, which is amazing for people who are renting, just because the demand can go a bit down because many people left Ireland. And also landlords know that people cannot pay that much money considering the current situation, considering that many people are made redundant and the rent prices can go a bit down, which is pretty encouraging. Also, I've noticed that many people said that if you keep your money in banks, you are in a really bad situation. In the last few years, the banks in Ireland have built up reserves and their resilience to be able to face situations like this one. Also, there is a deposit guarantee scheme that was put in place and it, it is administered by the Central Bank of Ireland. So that means that any deposit up to 100,000 euro per person, per institution is being secured. So you don't have to worry too much if you keep, for example, up to 100,000 euro in one of the banks in Ireland because it's secured and you'll be able to get those money back. Cool, guys. This was a very short overview about the unemployment rate, about what can happen with the job market. It's really hard to say something right now considering the situation, considering that we do not know what's going to happen. And also the lockdown has been extended until the 5th of May. So it's a pretty long time. So we have to wait and see what's happening until then and what's happening after the lockdown will be lifted. Please let me know what you think about the 2020 crisis, what's going to happen to us, what's going to happen to the economy, to the job market, to the unemployment rate. It will be very interesting to read your comments. And thank you for watching this video. Please make sure you give it a like, you subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next one.